All right, guys, I'm here by the Challenger for no reason other than I need somewhere to talk. Um, so this video, you can tell by the title, uh, we sold the 3650. It's gone. Uh, at the time of this recording, it's been gone now for probably a month, I guess. Um, and we have purchased a John Deere. Yes, a John Deere tractor. So... Um, not going to say yet what it is. You'll have to watch the end of the video to see what it is. It is a 50 series John Deere. I'll tell you that much. Um, it's, I guess you can call it a replacement for the 3650. Uh, we bought it after we sold the 3650. So I don't know. Maybe, you know, these John Deere guys, they lead me to believe that, you know, the John Deere's will do a lot more work than the Masseys will. So uh, perhaps we can get away with a little bit smaller John Deere to do the same job as... You know the 130 horsepower uh, 3650 did so I don't know we'll see but you guys have to watch the end of the video uh, to see what we bought um, the next clip I'm gonna roll out here is just uh, a short clip of the 3650 leaving her farm loaded on a trailer gone forever I better take the time now to make a video of this thing. She's going today. That sold it. 3650 Massey two wheel drive. So we're down to one 3000 series tractor left, which is that one over there. The uh, 3070. That's all we got left. <clears throat> Not really replacing it with anything, just had to go. It just wasn't getting used. Like the 30 the 1135 that we sold a couple of years ago, it's kind of usefulness uh, went away, I guess. Anyway, it'll be a nice tractor for somebody or the person buying it. I know who it is, I guess, but. Uh, I guess they're going to use it on a TMR mixer. So. Anyway, that's uh, probably the last time you're going to see it. There's the three, the 3070 right there. Dad's, Dad's playing with the uh, Challenger there in the background. Down the end of the driveway there.
All right, so that was the uh, end of the 3650, heading down the road to another firm. Uh, guy has a little bit bigger operation than we do. I think he wanted it for running a TMR mixer and some other stuff. So hopefully it works good for him. It's been a good tractor for us uh, while we've had it. Um, and yeah, just wasn't getting used. You know, that was our, our harvester tractor, right? We ran that, uh, the Gale pull type harvesters that we had on that tractor. And, uh, you know, when we got the New Holland self-propelled, it kind of uh, replaced that job for it, I guess. So we didn't really have a use for it. And there was one time we used to use it, um, used to use it for spread manure. But uh, since we got the white, which is four-wheel drive, we find that works a little bit better on the spreader. So uh, that kind of took that job from it too. So we really weren't doing much with it. I think all last year it sat in my uncle's building and we never used it. So anyway, it's good to see it go somewhere where it'll get some use, you know. It's uh, no good having them sit. So anyway, the next clip we're going to roll forward here is uh, the John Deere, the big reveal. So I'll show you guys the John Deere tractor that we picked up. All right, guys, in front of me here, I have, as promised, a John Deere 50 series, uh, or replacement for the 3650. So let's check it out. You guys ready to see what it is? <laughs> well, it is a John Deere 50 series. A 650 compact tractor. This is obviously in no way a replacement to the 3650. So I had to have a little fun with you guys. Dad actually bought this thing to kind of fix up and sell again. Uh, it's a 1983 650 John Deere four wheel drive. These were built by Yanmer for John Deere. Uh, it's only about 17 horsepower, I believe, at the engine. But uh, he's got a 60 inch, 5 foot snow blower uh, for it as well. So she needs a few things some paint. Best part on it is the seat. That's a 135 seat. Needs uh, some tires in the front there. They're pretty well worried off of it. Exhaust needs a little bit of work, but I don't know, overall, I think he's pretty happy with it. got uh, 3,390 hours. It's got an eight speed transmission. So it's four and high and low. That's your four wheel drive, PTO, diff lock down there, foot throttle, uh, split brakes. That's your throttle and fuel shut off clutch no power steering on this one I think it was optional it's got one new tire on it little I don't know if you can see or not 540 CTO category one three point hitch we have the top link for it too it's got ROPS on it so it's actually a nice little tractor to be honest but it's that color is kind of hard to get used to <laughs> fun with you guys so <laughs> that's the little John Deere that we got that's not gonna uh, I shouldn't say it's not gonna stay around too long but uh, just a little project for dad and uh, yeah they'll probably move it along but yeah it is a really nice little tractor I mean even if it's not truly a John Deere I guess it's a Yanmar uh, but I believe it was built to John Deere specs like there's, I don't think there's any Yanmar tractor that's a direct 
um, crossover for that tractor. I think uh, I think they built it specifically for JD. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll catch you in the next one.